six major commercial fisheries operate in Queensland waters of the Gulf of Carpentaria. Prawn Trawl Fishery. The Commonwealth Administered Northern Prawn Fishery, NPF, is Australia's most valuable Commonwealth fishery. Estuarine and inshore net fishery. This fishery operates in rivers and creeks and in nearshore tidal waters, targeting a range of inshore fin fish, particularly barramundi. Offshore net fishery. This fishery operates in waters that are greater than seven nautical miles offshore and primarily targets shark and grey mackerel. Line fishery. The Gulf of Carpentaria line fishery primarily targets Spanish mackerel using surface troll lines. Small quantities of bottom dwelling fish are also taken. Mud crab fishery. Using crab pots in tidal waters of rivers and creeks and the nearshore area. Offshore fin fish trawl fishery using special trawl apparatus to take a range of species in waters that are greater than 25 nautical miles offshore. Whilst the Gulf prawn fishery is a very valuable component of the NPF, much of the processing and supplies are based around motherships. However, one processing factory operates in Kurumba servicing around half of the fleet. Kurumba is used as a support centre for the prawning industry, with most of the Commonwealth fleet, numbering around 50 in the Gulf, coming in for some goods and services. Although there is currently no commercial aquaculture in the region, a 2004 report noted that the region has the potential for sustainable aquaculture development. The report noted that areas including Carpentaria Shire are situated towards a host of species including prawns, red claw, barramundi, sleepy cod, sea cucumber and crocodile. The report suggested that red claw farms could provide product to large mining companies throughout the region and that the area lends itself to commercial farming of crocodiles. Due to the fact that around 80% of income for crocodile farmers is sourced from the sale of hides and only 20% from meat sales, freight costs are not as much an issue as with other species. There's also the potential for extra income from tourism. The following investment and employment opportunities have been identified. Opportunities to participate in the catching and processing of seafood. Opportunities to service the fishing fleet out of Kurumba through supply of goods and services. Development of aquaculture prospects, both salt and freshwater. Value adding, for example, better utilization of bycatch and processing of byproduct, for instance, fish waste fertilizer.